In this video, we're going to show you how to schedule different configuration tasks in Network Configuration Manager. If you have a large number of devices, carrying out operations such as backup, upload, configuration changes, etc. become monotonous when done manually. Scheduling such operations can help you save significant time and effort. Let's take a look at how to add a new schedule. First click Settings, then go to Schedule, and then click Add. Provide a schedule name and choose a preferred schedule type from the drop-down. First, let's see how scheduling configuration backups work. Select the devices that you want to backup. You can either choose a list of specific devices or a device group. If you choose a device group, all the devices in that group will be backed up. You can choose to receive notifications via email or save it in a report format. If you wish to receive an email notification, provide a suitable email address and a subject. Once you provide an email address, select what you want to be notified about. Now, proceed to set a schedule time and the required recurrence option, such as hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, or a one-time backup. Then click Save. Next, I'll show you how to schedule report generation. Choose the type of report you wish to generate and select the necessary devices or device groups. Provide an email address if you want to receive notifications via email. Then set a schedule time and then save it. The selected report will be generated for the chosen devices when the schedule is executed. Now let's take a look at how you can schedule compliance checks. In the drop-down menu for schedule type, select compliance check. Choose whether you want to report violated rules only, compliant rules only, or both in the Reporting Options field. Select the report file type as either a PDF or a CSV file. Select the devices whose configurations should be checked for compliance. You can either choose a list of specific devices or a device group. Just like the other schedules, provide a suitable email address to receive notifications. Schedule the execution time and click Save. Now I'll show you how to schedule configlets that are configuration script templates used to automate commands. In the drop-down menu for schedule type, choose configlets. Select the required configlet from the Select Configlet drop-down menu. The execution mode will be automatically filled based on the configlet's execution type. In certain cases, you might have to enter a value. If you want to specify the same value for a particular configured variable for all devices, choose the same value for all devices option and enter the value. If the value differs for all the devices, you can import a file containing the values. Choose the devices or device groups, provide an email address to receive notifications, set a schedule time, and click Save. Now I'll show you how to schedule Device Discovery. Choose Device Discovery from the drop-down. To discover devices from a particular IP range, provide the Start IP and the End IP. You can also add more than one IP range by clicking the plus icon. Next, select a suitable credential profile for the devices and proceed. Provide an email address to receive notifications Set a schedule time and click Save. Now let us see how to schedule to synchronize the startup and running configurations of devices in the drop-down for schedule type. Choose Sync Configuration, provide a mail ID to receive notifications, and specify the required time for schedule execution. The startup and running configurations will be synced for all the devices at the scheduled time. Now let's see how you can schedule PCI reviews. In the Schedule Type drop-down menu, 
Choose PCI Review and select the reviewers. Fill out the other specifications, such as email address and subject, and select the suitable device or device groups. Specify a schedule time and click Save. Once you create schedule tasks, you can manage them under All Schedules. You can edit the necessary schedule tasks by clicking them. If you want to run the schedule immediately, click Execute Now. If you want to delete a schedule task, simply select the required schedule or schedules and click Delete. Under All Schedules, you can also see the properties of a schedule task such as the next run, recurrence, last modified by, etc. To view the audit of schedule task execution, select Schedule Audit and view the audit of each schedule. That's it for scheduling configuration operations. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel to learn about product updates and get more feature walkthroughs.